So what is Guru.com? Guru.com is a freelance website where you take and post your project and their platform and then what they do is they send it out to their network of freelancers and then they will return back prices and proposals to accomplish that said task. So how does that apply to the federal arena? Well, one of the first things you have to do in the federal marketplace is a capability statement. And for those of you who don't know, if you just Google capability statement, click on images, you'll see hundreds and hundreds of examples of what a capability statement is. Essentially, it's a cross between a brochure and a resume. Um, now, there's other sites out there like 99designs and TopTal, Upwork, and some others that offer similar services in different formats. But in today's video, we're going to talk about Guru.com, and I'm going to walk you through how to post an advertisement, how to find people to do the task for you, and then what kind of results to expect. Let's jump right in. All right, how to use Guru.com. I went ahead and I'm logged in to my system. Once you create an account, you sign up for Guru and you confirm your email and you log in, this is the screen it'll take you to. This is called the dashboard here. And from the dashboard, we have several things we can do. For our purposes, we're gonna focus on how to actually use Guru. So I'm gonna go ahead and create post a job. We're gonna go ahead and talk about creating a capabilities statement as our title. And then, as you see on the right-hand side, there's 19,000 gurus found that match that description. And what we want to do is just really quickly ask them to recreate a brochure as per the attached file using custom graphics and content provided. That's it. Now. On Google, I went ahead and just did a really quick Google search for capability statements, clicked on images, and it yielded hundreds if not thousands of results. Go through here, find some that you like, you know, and once you find some that you like, just save it as, download to your computer, and then come back over here and add that file. And then that way, you're giving the person or the company an opportunity to see what your style is and what you like and kind of an idea of what you want to do. Feel free to add two or three different designs. And then from there, you can intensely change your colors, change your styles, change your fonts, and add your custom pictures and words to make it your own. Let's go down to the next category, which is best to match a job. Design, art, and multimedia. I would say that's what we're going to stick into. And if you notice, your matching gurus decreased to 2764. Any essential keywords, I would say yes. Graphic design, what we're looking for, that skill. And then, do you want to limit the job to a specific location? I would say no. Uh, if you were doing something like say you were a doctor and you did some translation services, um, I would say you may want to do, only look at people in the United States who spoke perfect English. But for this particular task, we're going to leave it open. What's your budget? Fixed price versus hourly. Fixed price, I use it when I do what's called one-off projects, meaning I do it one-time project and you don't have to do it again. Hourly is when I have the person doing recurring projects. For example, in the past, I've used people to write articles for me people to do social media for me. Um, presently, I have a guy that's doing my bookkeeping and I, I use him every month. And he updates my QuickBooks files, turns it back. And then how do you determine the price? I would say go with the higher side. So I've done this before, these capability statements. I know they're gonna be probably somewhere between 50 to $150 max. So I'm gonna go with the higher number. And then it doesn't prevent people from giving me lower price proposals or quotes. But I just choose a higher number so I can get a wider range of people. And then um, how much exposure you want, I would say maximum. This is not something that's secretive. So we can allow it to be sent out to Google. And then here, do you want your job featured posting for additional $30? I would say no. I've never used that before and I don't, and I really haven't had the need to use it. Uh, but I will give you an example of where it might be helpful. And then my deadline, 30 days from now. I would leave it at 30 days from now. So now let's talk about the type of results you might expect. Going back here to my dashboard, I'm gonna show you a couple uh, quotes that I submitted and got some results. So here I was looking to create a WordPress website and it yielded 74 quotes. Um, and a contrary example, here I was looking to do, convert some paper blueprints to CAD drawings and I only yielded one result. So uh, that's a stark difference. But essentially, um, that's how you do Guru in a nutshell. In the next video, we'll talk about what to do if you yield too many results. Let's look at if you were to create a WordPress site template 
and it yielded 74 quotations and that's me because I closed it off it, I mean, it still keep going how do you prevent that from happening so when you're posting the job one of the ways that I prevent that from happening is I go in here and I said include in your proposal the following answers to the following questions and then I would put in there a series of questions and that simple task alone by adding in um, to one or two questions to be included in the proposal the freelancers that responded to their proposal and answered these questions those are the ones that I use and anyone that did not respond I eliminate them immediately and that alone probably reduced my um, the amount of people who res the amount of people I had to filter through by about 75% because most people just send you a price and they don't even take a look at what questions that you're asking them to respond to. So that's one trick that I use to actually filter out uh, something where I have hundreds or, or maybe even maybe dozens if not hundreds of responses and I don't really have the time to read through them all. This is how I filter through the people. That's using Guru and filtering through people. Thanks. Hey, thanks for watching my video on Guru.com and how you can use it to grow your business in the federal arena. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email at scorecontracts.com. And if you have any comments, reach out to me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. Thanks again for watching. We're signing out.